Hello viewers, uh, today I'd like us to cover another topic, uh, water and hydrogen. It is the last topic in Form 1, so I have a very simple and uh, in detail question. Uh, it's only one that I'm going to cover and I'll explain it in detail. So, onto the first question we've been asked. Hydrogen can be prepared by reacting zinc with hydrochloric acid. Write an equation for the reaction. Now, there is something that I'd like us to identify. Two things, zinc and hydrochloric acid. So, zinc itself, it is a metal. Hydrochloric acid is an acid. Zinc, the formula is Zn. Hydrochloric acid, the formula is HCl. Now, when a metal reacts with an acid, it forms two products, salt and hydrogen gas. Now, when zinc reacts with an acid, say hydrochloric acid, it forms zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Therefore, for the word equation, in case someone is in form 1, I will say zinc plus hydrochloric acid. It forms zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. I hope it's very clear. Now, in case we had a chemical equation, I will write zinc, since it is a metal, we give it state symbol solid, plus hydrochloric acid, which is in aqueous state, it forms zinc chloride, and that is the formula of zinc chloride. Zinc is a transition element, it has a valency of 2. Chlorine, it's a halogen, group 7. It has a valency of 1. When they cross multiply, I'll have zinc chloride. That is why I have such a formula. And zinc chloride is a soluble salt plus hydrogen gas. And therefore, I can balance the equation. How many hydrogen do I have? 2. And chloride, 2. So when I put two like that, it will be completely balanced. So this is how we answer this question in a simple way. So just a reminder, when a metal reacts with an acid, it forms two products, salt and hydrogen gas. In our case, it should be zinc, chloride and hydrogen gas. So apart from HCl, what if we treat it with sulfuric acid? It will form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. What if we treated with nitric acid to form zinc, nitrate, and hydrogen gas? But rather, nitric acid is never used or it is not preferred in the manufacture of hydrogen gas. Why? Because the hydrogen gas that is formed is easily oxidized to water. Next question. Name an appropriate drying agent for hydrogen gas. Now, any gas like hydrogen, when it is bubbled out, it might contain some water molecules. For us to dry it, we need something called a drying agent. So in the lab, we normally have specific types or kinds of drying agents. In this case, we will require concentrated sulfuric acid. sulfuric 6 acid or we can as well use anhydrous calcium chloride so we have those two drying agents that we use to dry hydrogen gas and when I say Anhydrous, it means it does not contain water of crystallization. And you must always say concentrated sulfuric acid. It must be in concentrated form. So, conch must be there, and the word anhydrous must also be there.
there. The formula of sulfuric 6 acid is this one. When it is concentrated, it's in liquid state symbol. And we have calcium chloride, calcium chloride, and it is in solid state and hydrous. Next question, we've been asked a very simple one. Explain why copper cannot be used to prepare hydrogen gas. Why can't it be used? Yes, yet it is a metal. Copper is a metal, but we can't prepare, we can't use it to prepare hydrogen gas. Now, when you look at electrochemical series, or rather reactivity series, copper is normally above hydrogen in the electrochemical series. It means that, not really, hydrogen is above copper in the electrochemical series, meaning hydrogen is more reactive less reactive. It means that copper cannot displace hydrogen from its compound. Why? Because hydrogen is more reactive than copper. And that is how simply we can say it, that copper cannot displace hydrogen from its solution. So, copper cannot displace hydrogen. Why? Hydrogen is more reactive than copper. And that is it. Next question. Hydrogen burns in oxygen to form an oxide. So when hydrogen burns in oxygen, it forms an oxide. What is this oxide? So whenever we see hydrogen, when it reacts with oxygen, it forms a, let me say, hydrogen oxide. And which oxide of hydrogen do we all know in the whole world? It is simple, water. So, when hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas, it forms a very simple thing, water, which is a polar solvent. And therefore, we can balance by putting two there and two here. And we are done. Now we have this second last question. State two precautions that must be taken before the combustion of begins and at the end of combustion. So we have beginning and at the end. So what must we do in the beginning? And what must we do at the end of the experiment? Now in the beginning or before the combustion begins, we must pass hydrogen before heating or lighting to drive out air. So we pass hydrogen before heating to drive out air. So before heating is done, assuming that I was having this experiment or rather uh, not such an experiment we have zinc and uh, not this one we have uh, another experiment where I'm having um, So when I'm having an acid and I have, let me say, zinc and this acid specifically, hydrogen, uh, chloride acid, hydrochloric acid. So, so before heating or before the reaction begins, I need to pass hydrogen before heating to drive out air that is initially present. And what must I do at the end of the experiment? There should be continuous flow of hydrogen after putting off the flame. So at the end, we must have continuous flow of hydrogen after putting off the flame.
continuous flow of hydrogen after putting of the flame. And that's how simple it is. So before, before the combustion, we pass hydrogen to drive out air that is initially present in the apparatus. And at the end, we need to have continuous flow of hydrogen after putting off the flame. And finally, give two uses of hydrogen gas. They are very easy. The first one is always an obvious manufacture of margarine or margarine, depending on your primary school. Or we can also have hardening of oil to form fat. So hydrogen gas can be used to manufacture margarine or we can also use it to harden oil to form solid fat. And the other one we can also use to manufacture ammonia. So we also have manufacture of ammonia. In this case, when we have hydrogen gas, when it reacts with nitrogen gas, it forms a very simple gas, which is ammonia gas. And when I balance it, when I put two here, nitrogen will be two, hydrogen six. So I must have three here. So that is the reaction that takes place when uh, hydrogen reacts with nitrogen. It forms ammonia. And finally, we can also use it in filling balloons. Hydrogen is very light, and therefore, when you use it in filling balloons, we can easily go up using the balloons. Thank you. And that is the simplest way I can explain such a question under the subtopic water and hydrogen. God bless you. Bye.